Hey, what is up guys? I am the Pineapple Gamer and today I'm back with another video for you guys. And the topic of the day is 5 features from older GTA games that would have made GTA 5 a lot more enjoyable and overall just should have been put in the game. GTA has been a AAA series long before the release of GTA 5 and some of the features that used to be in the old games were unfortunately cut from GTA 5. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best features from older GTA games that should have been included in Grand Theft Auto 5. Before I get started though, please leave a huge like on this video and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to support my channel. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers and each and every single subscriber means the goddamn world to me. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright. To start things off here, I'm going to go with the Good Citizen bonuses from GTA Vice City. And what's cool about these is that a lot of times you could actually see a police officer chasing down a mugger or a criminal on the streets of Vice City. And if you actually tried to help the officer and beat up the mugger, you would actually be rewarded with a Good Citizen cash bonus. Now, it's only about a $50 bonus, but I still think it's really cool because it just felt immersive. You could actually get something out of taking the cop side instead of just being shot like you do in GTA 5. I see a lot of police chases on the streets in GTA 5 and it would be really cool if you could actually partake in them and get a reward for it if you actually ended up, you know, taking down a criminal or something like that. And next up, I have the ability to actually throw small objects like you could in GTA 4. For those of you guys who didn't know, you could pick up small things like litter and bricks up off the ground and throw these things at people. This feature can get pretty funny when you end up throwing a half-eaten hot dog at unsuspecting pedestrians. It's a pretty small feature, but when it comes to realism, I think it would have been an amazing add-on for GTA 5 and would make for some hilarious clips if you could do this on the online mode as well. The third feature that used to be in actually every single GTA game up until Grand Theft Auto V was the vigilante missions that you could access from a police car. You could actually access the police computer and chase down criminals while vigilante mode was activated. You could do similar missions like this in ambulances and taxis and respond to 911 calls involving injured people who required paramedic assistance. In my opinion, these missions were amazing and should have never been removed from GTA 5, but unfortunately, they never made it. Second to last, and this is a pretty kind of big one, I'm talking about fast food restaurants. Why were these not put in GTA 5? I mean, yeah, you can buy snacks from like corner stores and gas stations, but it would have been so much cooler if you could actually enter fast food restaurants, buy a meal, or if you wanted to, hold up the store and just mess around in them. Restaurants have been a thing since GTA San Andreas, and they were unfortunately cut from GTA 5. Hopefully they make a return in GTA 6 because this is something that I was kind of surprised to see left out. And finally, last but not least, Probably the biggest one on this list, I've got to say, 6 star wants level should have been included in GTA 5. If you guys didn't know, in actually every other GTA game, you could get up to 6 stars while combating the cops, not just 5. And when you actually reach this level, the military would come after you with tanks, jets, etc. It would have been so sick and so suspenseful if you could have an all-out battle with the military in the streets of Los Santos. But unfortunately, this feature was cut in the early stages of the development of GTA 5. And this has been my list of 5 features from older GTA games that would have made GTA a lot more fun and a lot more immersive. Do you see anything from other games that you would have liked to see in this video? If so, please comment what it is below, I'd love to hear it. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section too. That's it for today guys, I'll see you
see you all in my next video. Peace out.